this is a short overview of answering and rating and commenting on questions in the Peerwise system. So we are currently logged into the Peerwise system. And we can see we have three main areas here. We've got your questions, answered questions. This is questions that we've already answered. And then you've got your unanswered questions. So let's start here. So we'll get some questions to answer. So we can see here is a table of questions that have been submitted. And what we want to do is answer um, one of these questions. So just click on this first one here. We can see we want to answer first questions that haven't got any answers yet. So anyone's at zero. If if there's none with zero, pick a you can just pick anyone you like. But um you need to make sure that you answer all the zeros get answered first so that that ensures that everybody gets an answer on their question. So let's answer this question. So answer the following question. Which best describes what the following code does? You can see here there's an array, my array. The second element of that array is being assigned the value of the first element of that array. So let's see what our answers are. The first part of the array is equal to the next. No, that's obviously an incorrect answer. That's not what's happening. That's not the equals sign, that's the assignment, the equals operator, that's the assignment operator. Uh, let's just try the second option the first element of the array is equal to zero is equal to one rather no that's not that's a similar um, to the first option that's obviously incorrect C the array is full no that's obviously obviously wrong uh, the first element of the array is assigned the value of the first element and that's wrong as well and E is actually correct, none of these, because they're all wrong. But um, it's not good practice to have a none of these or all of these. There should be a proper correct answer. So that's a weakness in this in this um, question, in the design of this question. Also, there's five options. There should only be four would be the optimal number of options. And some part, some of these options, that one is obviously it could I would discount that option straight away so that's it doesn't require any thought of mine that that's just completely wrong so I can easily discount that one so that's not a good a well-designed distractor um, this one is possibly a reasonably good option distractor this one here the first part of the array is equal to the to the the, the next. So there's this, there's a error here in the in the there's a typographical error. And also, this isn't using particularly rigorous language. So it's saying the first part of the array. But what does that mean? The first part. Does that mean the first element? If it does, it should say element, not part, because there is no such thing as a part of an array that's not part of excuse me upon the technical language you use around arrays. So I'm going to go for none of these as my answer. So select my answer. And your answer does not agree with the author with the answer suggested by the author. So the author has said that wasn't the correct answer. I think it is. So I'm going to leave the answer, the author of this question, a comment to say, the author is saying the answer is D. The first element of the array is assigned the value of the first element. And that's clearly wrong because what's happening in this array is that the second element of the array is being assigned the value of the first element. So this question is a bit of a mess so I need to communicate that to the author but obviously 
not in that language. I want to be polite and helpful, give some constructive feedback as to why, as to how this question could have been improved. So now I'm going to say that this was a. Well, it's hard to judge the difficulty of a question when you think the question was was so poor. I'm going to say that's poor, very poor. And what was the explanation of the question? I didn't see that. Where's the explanation? So the explanation gives you more context. So the explanation here is D is the answer. So that's a very poor explanation because that doesn't tell me, that doesn't explain anything about the question. So an explanation would have been something about um, how this value is assigned to that and maybe an explanation could have said um, not to get equals and assignment mixed up. But D is the answer is a terrible explanation. So I reflect on this and I'm going to give this a zero, a very poor question because it just wasn't properly designed at all. It's difficult to say based on that whether it's hard, easy or medium. Um, I'm going to say it, it was either extremely hard because it was wrong. Uh, so I'm going to say it's hard. Now, it's, it's obviously only possible to really answer that difficulty question if, if the question actually has a correct answer. So this question is just broken. So comments. There are not yet any comments for this question, so I'm going to write a comment. Now, so after looking at the information on this page, do you believe your answer is correct? Let's go back up here. Yes, my answer is correct. No. Yes. So I'm going to say yes, my answer is correct. Now I'm going to write a comment. Okay. So, oh, I've, I've lost those ratings there. I need to fill them in again, but let's go in here first and leave my comment. Box. I believe, and let's get the text of the. I believe the correct answer should be the, the answer is missing and should be that the second element of the array is assigned the value of the first element. Some of the options were not plausible. such as that the array was full I don't even know what that means and a better explanation of the answer would have been useful so make sure that my hopefully my comment is polite and you could try and say something constructive here. Maybe I'll say I found some of the audience not plausible. Not to be plausible. Add my comment. And I'm going to give it a heart because it's a party. I'm going to give it very poor because this person didn't really put a lot of thought into this. So now I'll submit my rating and return to the question list. OK. 
Okay. Now we have one question answered, and we're back to the unanswered question pages here. So I'll click here. Let's see, have a look at this next question I'm going to answer. So, which of the following is a valid variable name in PHP? I know that's incorrect. Um, because it needs to have the dollar sign. Um, I'm not too sure about that one. That could be correct. I think that one's definitely wrong because you can't have a dollar sign in a variable name. And I think that one's incorrect because I think the first character of a variable name needs to be an underscore or a letter. In which case, this is the correct one. Now, before I answer this question, what I should really do is, if I'm not sure, is look up the definition of a valid variable in PHP. Go and read that up and just check my answer, but I'm confident that this is the correct answer. So I'm going to select B. And there we go. Uh, so my this time, my answer agrees with the author, which is great. And let's see here. So I've gotten that correct. That's great. I've got my first correct answer now. Uh, after looking at the information on this page, do you believe your answer is correct? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, let's see what the explanation that the author has given for this. And they have given... Um, there's not possible to see all that explanation in this window. Variables can start with an underscore or letter following the dollar sign and can contain letters, underscores and numbers. So I think that's a pretty good um, pretty good explanation. There are no comments yet on this question, so I'm just going to write a comment. Um, nice question. It helped me help reinforce my knowledge of valid and invalid variable names. I mean, this is just an encouraging feedback to the question author. How did I find this question? Well, this is obviously a subjective thing. It's going to be different for everybody. It definitely wasn't a hard question, so um, I'm not sure if it was easy or medium. I'm going to say it was probably medium because I wasn't 100% sure of the answer for finish, so I would have had to go and look up the correct answer because you need to be sure before you answer these questions because you want to get your top score. So I'm going to say the quality was... Um, probably either very good or excellent. I'm not sure how this question could have been really improved. Um, so maybe a bit more detail in the discussion about the, the correct answer, but having said that, I think it was probably sufficient. So it would be possibly hard to improve on that question. So now I will submit. Submit rating and return to question list. Now I'm back at the question list. I can see I have some badges here as well. And that tells me what my how I'm getting on in the peerwise system. So you get badges as you as you comment, as you author, etc. So that is a short overview of answering, reviewing, rating and commenting on questions in the PeerWise system.